So what is the image? Okay, I mean, we, we kind of know what it's not. And if you've read the chapter, you're going to know where I'm going here. The meaning of in, you know, in the image, or betalem, that's actually crucial to comprehending what, what it is and what it isn't. So it conveys function or status. And believe it or not, these are legitimate translations. Let us create, that should be create, not created. Let us create humankind to be our image or let us create humankind as our image. The Hebrew has, let us create humankind in our image. And you say, well, how in the world can you take it, the word like in, which is a preposition, and legitimately translate it as something like to be or as? Okay, we need to talk about that tonight. I'm gonna illustrate it first in English. There are a number of ways that we use a simple preposition like in. If I say put the dishes in the sink, the preposition denotes location. If I say I broke the vase in pieces, in denotes some result. If I say I wrote the letter in pencil, now I'm talking about some kind of instrumentality, a tool or something. If I say though, I work in medicine, I work in accounting, I work in education, I work in real estate. What I mean is I work as a doctor or a nurse or a PA or an LPN. I work as a realtor or maybe an appraiser. I work as a teacher, a principal. In other words, the preposition there actually denotes role or function. And that's actually what we've got going on in, in this case. 